In this video, we will show you the basics of using the IMAP system. After logging in and while looking at the main menu, click Edit Member Map. This will bring you to the Location Information section of IMAP. Using the drop-down menus, select the parish, state, and district you would like to work with. When you have done so, click Go. You will then be presented with the five remaining sections of IMAP. The Districts box, the Work in Progress box, the To Be Verified box, and the Committed box. The final section is the map. You will use the map to view and manipulate your existing polygons as well as draw new ones. The Districts box contains a complete list of all polygons matching the parish, state, and district you have selected. To find a specific polygon you would like to work with, first click the All button. This will select all active polygons currently residing in the Districts box. Clicking the Go To button will center the map on all currently selected polygons. Polygons residing in the Districts box are displayed on the map in blue. It is possible to highlight all polygons residing in all four boxes simultaneously. All currently selected polygons will be displayed on the map and will be color-coded to represent in which box they reside. Again, district polygons will be displayed in blue. Work-in-progress polygons will be displayed in red. To-be-verified polygons will be displayed in yellow. And committed polygons will be displayed in green. You can view the record ID number of any polygon on the map by clicking on it. Another useful feature of IMAP is the ticket search function. The ticket search function allows you to view the mapping from a specific ticket and how that mapping relates to your currently active district polygons. Simply enter the ticket number in question and click search. The ticket's mapping will be displayed as an empty yellow polygon. Now let's try modifying an existing polygon. First, select the polygon you would like to modify. Then click the Go To button. This will center the polygon on the map. When you are sure you have selected the correct polygon, return to the Districts box. With the correct polygon selected, click the Modify button. The polygon in question will now be surrounded by a yellow border. Also note the small white boxes located along the polygon's border at the corners. To modify the polygon, click and hold on one of the white boxes, drag it to the desired location, and release. Continue this process until the desired shape has been achieved. When you are finished making adjustments, click the Done button, located in the lower right corner of the map. In order to approve any polygon transaction, you will need to be in the OCC version of the map screen. If you attempt to take an action that requires you being in the OCC view and you are not, you will receive a pop-up warning, and the computer will automatically switch you to the OCC view. At this point, clicking Done will create a transaction, which will appear in the Work in Progress box. The corresponding polygon can now be viewed in red on the map. The Work in Progress transaction will have the same record ID as the original district polygon. At this point, it's important to note that the changes made to this polygon will not become active immediately. Several steps must be taken before these changes can be submitted to the call center for inclusion in the database. In order for these changes to become active, the transaction that has just been created must pass through the Work in Progress and To Be Verified stages. First, return to the Work in Progress box and make sure the correct transaction is highlighted. Next, click the Submit button.
the transaction will move to the To Be Verified box, located just below the Work in Progress box. Consequently, the polygon will now be displayed in yellow on the map. When you have the correct transaction highlighted in the To Be Verified box, clicking Approve will submit the transaction to the call center for processing. Once this is done, the transaction will appear in the Committed box, and the corresponding polygon will appear in green on the map. Once the transaction has been completely approved, you may need to wait a few days for the computer to make the changes active. You will receive an email when the transaction has been fully committed, and another when the changes go into effect.